All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So for log 100 to the power of x, I can move x to the power of front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now, if I divide both sides by log 100, These two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now, log 200 I can rewrite as log 100 times 2. Now I have this over log 100. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log 100 times 2, I can write as log 100 plus log 2. And now I have this over log 100. Now, this is the same thing as log 100 over log 100 plus log 2 over log 100. And log 100 and log 100, those two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 100. Now, log 100, this is the same thing as log of 10 squared. So I have 1 plus log 2 over log 10 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent to the front. So now this is the same thing as 1 plus log 2 over 2 times log 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10, that's equal to 1. Now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So I have 0 0.301 over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1505, which is 1.1505. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 here as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. However, this is also the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. So all I did was simply switch these two exponents places. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So now I have y plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 10. Now, if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this, I actually have to first get one value of y. So then using that value, I can find the rest of the values. So to find that first value, I actually have to start by guessing. 
And if I start by using one, one to the power of three is one, one plus one is two, two minus 10 is negative eight. So that wouldn't work. Well, two, two to the power of three is eight, eight plus two is 10, 10 minus 10 is zero. So two is gonna work. Meaning a factor of this is gonna be y minus two. This is a factor of y to the power of three plus y minus 10. So now to solve this, I actually have to divide y to the power of three plus y minus 10 over y minus two. And if you can either divide this using long division or synthetic division, but you get that this is the same thing as y squared plus two y plus five times y minus two. So y to the power of three plus y minus 10 is equal to y squared plus two y plus five times y minus two. And this is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I have y squared plus two y plus five is equal to zero. And I have y minus two is equal to zero. So for y minus two equals zero, y is obviously equal to two. And for y squared plus two y plus five equals zero, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared all over two a. So in this case, I have negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four minus four times a, which is one times c, which is five. Well, if you see here, four minus four times one times five, that's four minus 20, which is the square root of negative 16, which we can't take the square root of a negative number. So this isn't just, so this wouldn't work. So my only solution is y equals two, meaning, remember how we set two to the power of x is equal to y, meaning two to the power of x is equal to two and x is equal to one. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 24 minus 16. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting two to the power of 24 as two to the power of 12 times two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 12 times two, I can write as two to the power of 12 to the power of two, and 16 I can rewrite as four to the power of two. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 12 and b is four. So I have two to the power of 12 plus four times two to the power of 12 minus four. Now two to the power of 12, well two to the power of 10, this is equal to 1024. So two to the power of 11, this is gonna be equal to double of 1024, which is 2048. And two to the power of 12, this is gonna be double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I have 4096 plus four times 4096 minus four. And this is gonna equal 4100 times 4092. So now I can actually rewrite this as 4,000 plus 100 times 4,000 plus 92. And this is gonna make it easier to solve. So all I have to do to solve this is to actually just distribute. So I first start by distributing 4,000 to all my terms here. So I have 4,000 times 4,000, which is 4,000 squared plus 92 times 4,000. Now, if I distribute the 100, I have 100 times 4,000. Finally, I have 100 times 92. So, 4,000 times 4,000, that's gonna equal 16 million. 92 times 4,000, that's going to equal 368,000. 100 times 4,000, that's simply going to equal 400,000. And finally, 100 times 92, that's 9,200. So now all I have to do is add all these up. Well, 16 million plus 368,000 is 16 million 368,000. However, we have our 400,000 here. So it's actually going to be 16,768,000. And then finally we have plus 9,200. So 
thousand plus ninety two hundred is going to be equal to sixteen million seven hundred seventy seven thousand two hundred. So this is my answer.